Hey guys, it's Melissa with Let's Find Joy Photography, letsfindjoy.com. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice, it's a little raspy. But I have had a lot of people um, ask me how I have my contract um, embedded on my website. Um, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So I have it here embedded on my website. Um, it also is mobile responsive, so if you're doing it on a phone, you can fill it out on your phone, and um, it'll shrink down to fit your phone screen. And then the clients can put in their information here. They can also sign um, with their mouse or with their finger if they're on the phone. And they can also go ahead and select whatever session they're getting and go ahead and pay with their credit card for the session retainer fee, um, which this is connected with my Square account, so it's super nice. They can also submit the form and then print it too before they submit it, but when they do submit it, it also sends an email copy to me and the client, as well as says to my Dropbox. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how I make the form and how to embed it on your website. When you're in Drop Form, which Drop Form is free by the way, so it's super awesome, you um, go to my forms and it'll take you to all your forms and um, when you um, are doing it for the first time you'll click create form I already have mine created so I'm just gonna click edit to show you it will bring you into this area and you'll be able to add things this is a um, picture um, let's see where it says that image so this is where you put an image which will be right here so you would just drag it over and then you would upload your image um, and that's how I did that there then this part of my contract is um, text area so you would drag a text area over oops excuse me it's not the text area where's the one I'm looking for text this is the text and you're able to make things bold, um, all this kind of stuff with this um, toolbar here. Then, um, after you have all your contact, contract verbiage in there, you can set up additional things for clients to fill out. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit more so we can see it better. So down here I have this um, little checkbox that they need to use. I also have it set to required. Um, so that they have to check this in order to submit the form. Anything that is required um, with the little red star next to it has to be filled out before they submit the form. So when you do a date box, you would just drag over date. You would just drag over all these fields that you need from the quick fields or the basic fields area. And after you've dragged it over, I'll drag one over so you can see. It already has that in there. You can change what you want it to say. Um, and then you just go and click required. Okay. Um, the text or the, the little widget thing that I'm using for my signature, I'll show you how I, find, how I found it. You go into more fields and there's a search here where you can search for um, different widgets. And I just type in signature, and this one is the, I believe it's the e-signature. Let me double check. Yes, it's the e-signature. I tried the smooth signature before previously, but it was um, acting up and it wasn't working right. So I ended up going with this widget, and I haven't had any problems with it. Um, when you want to integrate your Square account or um, whatever you want to, I'll show you the different things that you can use to integrate. You just go here to integrations. So, um, get that out of there. So it's under setup and embed, this tab here, integrations, and you'll see there's tons of things you can integrate. Um, if you use any of these things you're able to integrate with your form. So what I did is I did square since that's what I use 
and um, I already have it on there, so that's why that's popping up. But you connect it. It tells you all the steps to do. It walks you through it to connect with your Square account. And you're able to put the sessions on here for them to check. And they're able to send this over, and it's completely secure. And it comes, um, it goes directly through your Square. Um, so when you log on and see that, it's all there too. So that's really, really awesome. Um, how you set it up to um, integrate with your Dropbox is see the check mark. I already have it integrated. Um, you just click it and it'll walk you through the entire integration. You'll authenticate your Dropbox. Um, and then you'll also create this folder that you want your client contracts to go into. And then you'll complete it. So that means when somebody submits a contract, it'll automatically send to your Dropbox as well. Um, there's also different, um, where are they? Emails. Okay. So I have it set up for when I get um, a new form filled out, it sends it to my email. And then um, I also have it set up I, um, to email the client a copy. So how you set it up to email a client a copy is you click create new email and autoresponder your email. And you can change you know, what you want it to say. Um, all that fun stuff you can um, ch change it to what the sender name would be which you would most likely do your business name of course you don't want it to say job form so you would enter that in I'm not gonna fill it all, all the way and then um, you select what email it is that you want to send so when your client is filling out the form there's an email section um, and so you want to select the email section so it will send this email to the email they put um, for their email address in the email um, section widget. That was a lot of email words. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have it set up to send right away. Um, and so that's really nice so that clients can get that in their email also. I just want to double check mine to make sure there wasn't anything else that I had added on here that I wanted them to have. Nope, that looks good. Okay. All right, and then what was the other things? Let's see, submit, there's a submit button. Um, this is also an easier way to just go ahead and add the payments. You can um, do it this way. So that's another easier option instead of going up to integrations. But let's see. There's tons of different things. Here's the submit button. There's also a print form button somewhere. If you don't see anything you're looking for, you can always come to the search area and type in what you're looking for and it'll browse different things, um, which is super, super nice. Huh. I was just wondering what that was. Interesting. Okay. So that's what I have for my form. Um, let's delete that because I don't need that. I think I did something down here too. Let me undo. Okay. There we go. Um, so after you've already had your contract, um, once you have it finished, you'll go over to under setup and embed. You'll go over to publish. And you can send a direct link to the client, but it's more professional, in my opinion, to have it embedded on your website. So I always embed it. And I have on my website, I have it embedded as an iframe. So you would copy this code and then you would go to your website and whatever page you want it on, you would go into the text area for you to upload HTML code and you would paste it in there and you would update it. And then um, this is what it will look like on your website once you have it in there. Um, that's what it should look like. 
if for some reason you find that it's not, the widths aren't adjusting right, um, you don't like how that looks, you can go into the advanced designer, which you get to by clicking design. And um, that's not it. You click themes. And it opens up their advanced designer. And um, oh, why is that not working? Maybe I did it wrong. Oh, there it is, advanced designer. So it's under design, that will pop up and then you click advanced designer and it will pop you up into the advanced designer. Um, on here, you're able to go over to form layout and you can change the maximum width of the form. Um, it's usually what you your images on your website need to be the width of. And so um, I have mine set to where it looks good on my website. You can kind of play around with the different sizes and see what would look good. I have my width and my input adjusted. Another cool thing you can do is you can change the colors, you can change the background color to something different. Um, there's lots of different things. You can also click on a certain area and it'll pull up here and you can change how you want it to be. So that's really nice too. And then you just click save and then um, it would save it for you. Anytime you save, after you've already embedded the form on your website, anytime you save the form, it will automatically update on your website. So like, I'm gonna put in some random letters right there so we can see, save it. Sometimes it also auto saves too without you even doing that, so that's really nice. Um, and there it is, those are on there. So it's really nice, once you already have it embedded, you can just go on a drop form and change anything or um, add anything that you need to. And then I've already made the changes and it's probably gonna auto save it here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just click it though. Okay, so that is exactly how I do it for my contracts. 